education about because if we're not doing that we can't help community because they're under siege with all of this nonsensical disinformation that's flowing out so we started to put them all on a common architecture a common platform and the reason why we did that is because we could do the analytics, the back end analytics, so that we could help them find audiences, that we could strengthen their voice in community. Because they were trusted voices, they needed to just get amplified. They just needed to have their voice amplified in community. And so we were really excited. We ended up with 50 different FQHCs and practices around the country on the beginning of a network. We put up like Facebook pages for them, so they each had, a, had their own uh, page. And one of the things that we also built, and now I'm going to ask them to pull up that site for me, is news. So when you think about this disparities movement, it doesn't have a voice. It doesn't it's not able to communicate, share information. You can't have a movement if you can't share information, right? And so one of the things we launched was For Your Health News. If you're familiar with Google News and Apple News, so here what we're doing is we are filtering 80,000 different news sources three times a day so that the stories and information that is out there about minority health gets visualized and people are able to have access to it. So the web address is fyh.news. Uh, invite you to take a look at it. Love to hear your comments about it because we think that this is sort of the first step um, in, in what we want to try to do together. Because we have to take on this information war or, or everything else we got to do, right? Uh, we, got to, we got to grab hold of this one uh, as well. And so um, that was one of the lessons that we learned um, as we were working with others on the pandemic. And so we've come out the other side, hopefully with a tool. And so um, I invite you to take a, a look at it. I'm also pleased, you know, there are so many voices, so many folks um, who did so many incredible things um, during the pandemic uh, that um, need to be recognized. Uh, and um, we are, really inspired um, by the work of nurse Carla Brown, who unfortunately lost her husband in the pandemic. That motivated her to begin vaccinating individuals in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. She vaccinated over 7,000 people going door to door. They, they weren't coming to her. She was going knocking on their door uh, and getting them vaccinated. And so the National Minority Quality Forum, we want to recognize her uh, with this first Hometown Hero Award. Uh, and it's part of where we're going which is hyper-local. We have to get down now to the community level. Um, you know, when we got started, we used to talk way up here. Now we want to get down at the community level and partner. We don't have any solutions, but we can, we can partner and collaborate and amplify. So it's my really my great honor and pleasure to have Ms. Carter come, um, a part of Brown, sorry, come and speak to you. Thank you.
Good morning to everyone. Good morning to the panelist guests. I always want to acknowledge the Lord Jesus who have given me the strength, the covering, the Moses to take on a task, to save lives during a pandemic where the information was not correct at the very beginning, where doctors were telling their own patients not to take the vaccine but had comorbidities that said you should be the first one. And that's how COVID crusaders began its journey. Uh, started in my neighborhood. And from there, anywhere in uh, region one and two, we will go and, if, and you know just do the vaccination, but do the education and just refuse to take no for an answer. So with that said, I would like to first of all thank Centene. I would like to thank the Minority Quality Forum. I would like to thank Louisiana Healthcare Connection for entrusting me to be the Moses at that time. And all I can say, this is just the beginning for my life. I will be a fighter on the front line, but God compelled her. He said, I need you to go onto the highways, the byways. You go to those that nobody wanna go to and you reach your hand and you save them. And I thank God that all of us here have that common goal in our heart. And that is we want to better health care and make it equality equal for everyone and close the doors to the misinformation that will keep others from receiving it. With that, I will say thank you so much for this reward. Thank you. Um, so with that, we open up the summit, um, please. Uh, let's learn and work together. Um, I'm, I'm so pleased that we have this opportunity now to interact. So thank you everyone very much. <laughs>